Yo, what's up everyone, Kevin here. Today I'm up snowboarding at Palisades, and in this video, I wanna share with you some essential small things that you can carry with you up the mountain that will just make your day better, maybe make your day more fun, or even save you in an emergency. So let's just jump right into it with some of the small things that I bring up. So the first one is I always bring an extra shoelace. So I don't know if you've ever been snowboarding and had one of your laces break, but it can definitely end your day. So if you just bring up an extra lace, it's a great way just to have a backup. And then if anything does happen, if you happen to cut a lace with your snowboard's edge or anything like that, then your day is saved by having this backup lace. Another small thing I bring up is just a pair of sunglasses. So most of the time I do just wear my goggles, but if it's a sunny day and if I'm riding park or just cruising, um, I really actually just enjoy riding with the sunglasses. They protect my eyes from the sun, but at the same time, it just gives you that like free feeling as you ride and you can still see everything very well as long as it's not snowing or it's not too windy. Sunglasses actually work very well on the mountain. So anytime it's like a sunny, warm day, I usually pull out my sunglasses. I also bring out some chapstick. I find as I'm riding, most of my skin is covered, like most of my face, neck. Having chapstick to protect around my lips is like huge. If you've been out in the cold and in the sun, you can definitely get some sun exposure around your lips. So one of the worst things is just getting your lips burnt or cracked. So having some SPF chapstick really comes in handy. So another small thing from my top compartment is just some tape. So if you've ever had a small hole in your jacket, tape can help to cover that up. Or if a binding breaks or anything like that, tape can be a great temporary solution. I find tape over the years has come in handy like dozens of times and just helps to save the day and keeps you from having to go down or go home to fix whatever it is. So tape can be really handy. Something that's a little bit bigger is a pole for my GoPro. So this is a Smotry pole. It's carbon fiber, so it's super light, and it extends, I think, to like 42 inches. So it's like a pretty big pole and collapses down, just really handy. I've been using this brand, Smotry, for like years, and they've held up really well. They haven't broken on me at all, and the weight is the main thing. It's just super light, so it makes filming with the GoPro uh, really easy. Another more medium sized thing is I'll usually bring up a spare pair of mittens. So especially on a powder day, having spare mittens can really come in handy. Throughout the day, your hands can get wet from putting them in the powder snow. So having some extra mittens to switch throughout the day is a game changer. Just helps to keep your hands more warm and dry. And that way you'll continue to ride longer throughout the day as well. So having this like warm extra pair of mitts can be huge. Something that goes with helping to keep the GoPro running or your phone is bringing up a charger. And with this charger, I've got uh, a GoPro charging pack that'll fit two batteries. This can also charge your iPhone or smartphone. So coming up in the mountain, the cold weather usually drains your batteries really quickly. So either your phone battery or a camera battery. So bringing up the spare charger can help to power your devices and just keep everything running all day so that you don't miss out on that photo or video from the day of riding. So I did have a sandwich in my bag, but I ate that like about an hour ago. Uh, but I do have a small bottle of water. So I actually haven't had a drink of this one, but yeah, water just in case, having a small bottle, not like a massive one that's gonna weigh you down, but enough water that if you get thirsty, especially on a sunny park day, it's just gonna keep you up on the mountain riding longer and having to go inside for less breaks. And for me, if I can spend the entire day without having to go inside for a break, it's just maximizing the amount of time riding and then you don't have to go in for snacks and water. So carrying water can just keep you riding more. So one thing that's actually been attached to my backpack is my radio. So recently I have been riding more with a radio and the radio is great for communicating with your friends, with like whoever you're riding with. 
and you know it's good for staying safe but even on a day where if you're staying within the resort it can be a great way just to keep in touch with to see where people are on a tree run or if somebody's you know been missing from your group you can just you know easily radio them and this has come in handy a bunch i'm using it more and more now that i have it and it's really important to have if you're going into the backcountry but even inside the resort having a radio can be really helpful especially in a lot of resorts where you don't have cell phone coverage a couple key things down here so i got some stuff in this pocket on my backpack but it's frozen shut uh, whoo so I've also got a snowboard tool, and this is probably the most important thing to carry up, is just to have a tool on you. I feel like over the years, I've used the tool hundreds of times to either tighten my own bindings or somebody else's. So a really great thing to carry with you could save your day or save someone else's. Most of the time there are tools up in the mountain, but sometimes you do find yourself away from the tool or sometimes they just don't have it. So carrying your own can be huge. Couple more really small things that I bring up. So one is a gummy stone, and this is just used to kind of like smooth out any burrs or imperfections in the edge of your snowboard. So if it's a day where I'm snowboarding in the park, I'll just like glide this across my edge carefully because I don't want to catch my snowboard's edge on like a box or a rail. So having this small gummy stone can just help to smooth out my edge and keep it nice and clean. I also have this metal file and I carry my bag so that if I show up to the mountain with my snowboard waxed, I can easily sharpen my scraper and having a really sharp scraper just makes scraping off the wax in the morning just so much easier. So a metal file helps to save me a lot of time first thing in the morning. The bag I use to carry all these essentials in is the Jones Descent 25 liter backpack. I've had this bag now for about three years and it still looks pretty much brand new. It's got lots of functional pockets, the straps are really comfortable, and it just really easily carries everything I need without being too bulky. So that's everything I carry guys. If I forgot something, it'd be great to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know if there's an essential that you carry and what you use it for on the mountain. Also, if you guys have any questions, hit me up down in the comments as well. I hope you're having an amazing time out there snowboarding. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video soon.